Peter Stankbite Wright is back, or maybe I am a little bit premature in saying that, but he's definitely back in the winner's circle. He won the German Darts Championship at the weekend in Hillersheim, beating Luke Littler in the final. He was 5-2 down in that final and came back to win 8-5. An incredible performance in the final from Peter Wright and all weekend. His run to the final wasn't easy. He had to face Nico Springer, a German in Germany, which is never easy. And Stephen Bunton, the Masters champion, who dumped him out of the Masters earlier this year. Jean Van Veen, Michael Van Gerwen, Dave Chisnell, and then, of course, Luke Littler in the final. And against Michael Van Gerwen, I think that was the real turning point in what may be in the career of Peter Wright, considering the difficulties he's had over the past 24 months. He averaged nearly 109 against Michael Van Gerwen, who averaged over 104 himself. And you could tell by his interview after that match that he was really really emotional but defiantly saying that peter wright is back last year last year you won the european two event in prague that kind of came out of the blue a little bit i've got the feeling with everything that you've been playing the last couple of weeks on the world series with everything you're doing now kind of feels like kind of feels like snake bites on his way back i'm on the way back <laughs> see peter come on gather yourself and best of luck for the semi-finals well done his tournament average for the entire German Dance Championship was 96.86, so nothing shabby there from Peter Wright. Of course, he changed his darts through the event, as he normally does, but that's not a bad thing. Peter Wright has been successful changing his darts. He's won two World Championships, World Match Play, two World Cups by doing the exact same thing. It's never, ever darts with Peter Wright. It is about the confidence, and the confidence has been low, and he's spoken quite candidly about that in the previous, what, 18 months, two years now. But fact of the matter is, Peter Wright is now back in the world's top 10. He has actually won three ranking titles since Michael Van Gogh himself has last picked up uh, a ranking title. He won the Belgian Darts Open way back in March. And Peter Wright since then has won a Euro Tour title last year, won a Euro Tour title this year. That's just gone. He's also a major winner, reigning major champion, the European champion so he's going to go to Dortmund in high spirits defending that next month but it's it, it would be an incredible resurgence for Peter Wright if he can really continue this form it's not been bad stuff from Peter Wright I know he's had a dismal Premier League and he you know he, he finished bottom of that for the second second year running but the world match play against Andrew Guild in first round loss but the scoring was there it wasn't the finishing no and it's just piecing everything together and it, it has been coming it has been coming and you know, the game is in a better place with Peter Wright in it. So hopefully he can use this to kick on. There are some people who actually think that Peter Wright can use this now to go on and win a third world championship, which would be incredible. It would match John Park with three world championships. And it would also match Michael Van Gerwen with three world championships if he, if he can secure that. But at 54 years age, what Peter Wright has found is the resilience to bounce back and land another ranking title is just incredible because I think a lot of people wrote him off and I think that hurt him and I think that's why we saw the emotion come out of him against Michael Van Gerwen. But next time we see him, we are going to see him in a couple of weeks, actually. We'll see him next week as well on the Euro Tour, that returns. But we'll see him in a couple of weeks on the big TV stage in the Netherlands, the World Series of Darts Finals. And he's got a really, really tough draw against Dave Chisnell. But Dave Chisnell, he beat Dave Chisnell in the German Darts Championship. That's just gone. So he's got confidence against him. And if he can have a real deep run there on the TV again, I think that really would be a symbol that Peter Wright is back. Like I say, he's back in the world's top 10 now. And no matter what happens between now and the end of the year, because don't forget, even last year, he won the European Championship, but he missed out on the Players' Championship finals the month after. Didn't qualify for that, even though he was the defending champion. But despite what's happened the past 24 months, provisionally, after the World Championship, he's still inside the world's top 10, provisionally the world number nine. So Peter Snakebite Wright, I'm calling it now, Peter Wright is back. He's going to win more titles and he could threaten another major. Is Peter Wright back or am I talking absolute nonsense? Leave leave it in the comments. Let me know. Are you a fan of Snakebite? German crowd certainly the word. They were serenading Peter Wright, popular wherever he goes. And it's just really, really good for the game to see him back winning again and just back happy again playing darts, turning up and being a serious threat in these competitions and beating big-name players on the big stage.